Amen and amen. On the on the program today, um, um, I just want us to start with um, Thanksgiving. Just to thank God for His goodness, for His mercy, for what He's doing in our lives. Hello. Hello. Amen. Yes, can we can hear, hear you, man. Yes, we can hear you clearly. Thank you. My phone just froze. So I thought, oh my goodness. Um, I just want us to thank God. Um, he is um, the I am that I am, the great um, magician. He is our healer. He is the one who answers our prayers when we pray to him. Um, we, we are sure of that. So I just want us to thank him and to give him praise for he has been with us throughout today from the, from the time that we met last at midnight up until this time, his goodness is evident. I can see some of you, and I know that God has been good to you just as he's been good to me. So let, let us just thank God for his goodness and um, for the fact that he's been with us today in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you. We just want to give you praise. We just want to magnify your holy name, O oh God, because of your goodness, because of your mercy. Baba, your name alone be exalted. Mulungu wa mulungu wa mhamu, mulungu wa zake bani. Zina lanu masana anulikale miki zake baba. Zina lanu likapu zike. Baba, I give you all the glory and the we give you the praise of God. We want to thank you for your presence, even in this on this platform. Your name alone be exalted in your name. So good. It is my desire that we rejoice and you, you be magnified in our ministry. So we thank you, we give you praise. And all over the gift of life, your name alone be exalted. For your presence in our ministry, your name alone be glorified. So we know, my God, that when we come in the presence of the most high God, there's no way our life is we will give you grace for what you are doing in a minute right now, Jehovah, your name be exalted. What you are about to do and what you are going to do in the future, Father God Almighty, I give you grace. Your name alone is now. Thank you for the rest of your majesty of God. Oh, we reverence your presence in our midst of God. In the mind in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Um, every time I'm given an opportunity, the teacher in me just comes out. <laughs> I don't that know why. Nice. So I was looking, I don't know, because some I missed some of the sessions um, at the beginning of the, uh, of the um, prayer meeting. Um, I was just looking at separation. So the definition that caught my eye was like the state or the action or state of moving or being moved apart. Amen. Mm. So I just wanted to look at separation um, in my one dimension, because I know this, this is a, a quite a broad picture. And I think it will take us the whole year to explore the, just the word, the year of separation. Amen. Amen. So I just wanted to look at the dimension way to separate. That means separating ourselves as a Christian from what's not God-like, mm. or to separate us, ourselves from the world, mm. and mm. also to separate ourselves unto God. Amen. That, um, those are the dimensions. Um, I will, I will touch in part just a small portion on separating ourselves from what's not God-like. I want us to focus more on separating ourselves unto God. 
Amen. 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 So, in the first instance, to separate ourselves from everything that is not of God. We are in the world, but the, the Bible says that we, we shouldn't be conformed to mm. the world. Amen. Amen. I was looking at John 17, verse 15. Mm. This, this was Jesus speaking. John 17, verse 15. Um, if somebody is there, can they read for me? John chapter number 17, verse 15. John 17, verse 15. Yes, please. John 17 and verse 15. Yes, Okay, John chapter number 17 and uh, verse 15, uh, the Bible declares, I do not pray that you should take them out of this world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, Amen. Maybe start from verse number 14, so we've got a bit of a context. Sorry, sir. Okay, that's fine. From uh, verse uh, 14. Okay. The Bible says uh, in John chapter number 17 from verse uh, uh, 14, uh, and uh, the scripture says, I have given them your word, and your word has hated them because they are not of the world, just as I am not of this world. I do not pray that you would take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. Amen. Amen. So um, I just want us to, um, just like Jesus is saying there, that we are not no longer of the world, but we are of God's kingdom. The characteristics of somebody who is of God's kingdom is that they live separate from the world. Though we are in the world, but our character and our behaviors have to reflect on who that him that we are following. Amen. So I just want us to, to pray in the first instant for God to keep us from evil. Even though we are in the in the world, that um we're not going to yield to temptation. As the Lord's prayer says, lead us not into temptation, but let, deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Amen. Okay. And I want us, as we are praying for, for that, for God to give us discernment, for us to determine. Sometimes we walk in two situations that we think they are innocent, but then are not of God. Amen. So in verse 22, I want us to pray for the spirit of discernment as well. As we are praying for God to keep us from evil, to deliver us from evil, keep Amen. us from evil, that he is going to give us the discerning spirit. Even in those little, little corners that sometimes we find ourselves in, by the time you realize that, oh my goodness, I wasn't supposed to be here. But for God to open our eyes so that even before we go into situations like that, that will be able to separate ourselves and be distinct, be a, um, a different breed of people. Amen. 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 Let us just pray. I don't know if you understand my prayer point, but anyway, Amen. let us pray that God is going to keep us from evil, but also to give, to, to give us discernment, to, to know situations that are sometimes look innocent, but tend to take us away from God. Amen. 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 <laughs> Your mercies, your mercies, your mercies, your 
So I was looking at how can we separate ourselves unto God. Um, um, I've come up with like we can separate ourselves in prayer, in reading the word of God, and also in fasting. Because in, in doing those, amen, amen, we are going to be more like Jesus. Amen. Um, I want to challenge um, us. I think it's come back. It's, it's coming like a common theme that every time somebody stands on the, on the platform and speaks, they are, they are calling all of us to say, we, we're not just going to do um, prayer and fasting, or we are not going to just do prayer only in the 21 days, the first 21 days of January, but that we're going to continually do that all throughout the year. Amen. I think you've heard it. People say that over and over and over again. I take us, I take that that God is speaking to us that in 2022, prayer, fasting, and reading the word should be our daily bread, just like we eat um, um, shima or sima every day. That should be our daily practice. Amen. 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 
because we become more like whoever you spend the most of your time with. Yeah. Um, those of um of you on the platform who are like me, you you watch a lot of Nigerian movies, and then by the end of the day, watch them for two days consecutively. By the end of those two days, oh my goodness, you start speaking like Chineke, or every time somebody says something, oh I don't want your wahala, or you start the oh at the end of your words come in amen mm -hmm. so i know that when we spend time so it also follows that if we separate ourselves in prayer hmm. we as we spend more time with god we're going to be more like him amen yeah. our character and our language the way we conduct ourselves Hallelujah. there's no way we, it can remain the same in mm -hmm. that way we are going to be a way they, or a true remnant a true bride that um, Reverend Aleto has spent the last year um, talking about. Amen. Amen. I want us to look at the life of, um, of Jesus um, to understand a little bit more how a separated life, life a separated life in prayer looks like. Amen. Amen. So I want us to go to Mark um, one, <clears throat> Mark one, this, um, 35 to, is it 37? Oh, 35 to 39. Amen. I'm reading from which word version is from Papa. Anyway. Mark 1, verse 35 says, um, now in the morning, have, having risen a long while before daylight, mm -hmm. he went out and departed to a solitary place. And there he prayed. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him. When they found him, they said to him, everyone is looking for you. But he said to them, let us go into the next towns that I may preach there also, because for this purpose, I have come forth. And he was preaching in their synagogue throughout all Galilee and casting out demons. Amen. So Jesus, in this passage, um, it tells us that Jesus would rise, who separate himself from everybody else. Amen. Go to a solitary place, mm -hmm. early in the morning before daylight, before all the busy schedules of his life, <laughs> before he even started ministry, he would set himself apart, he would separate himself unto God in prayer. And then if you keep reading on that passage, Amen. Yeah. If you keep reading on um, Mark 1, um, up to this, yeah. up to the end of Mark 1, from this 35 to the end of it, you can see how, what impact that um, solitary time that he took in the morning how it impacted the ministry that he was uh, that he was doing. He could just speak yeah. to the lepers, yeah. be cleansed, yeah. and the less, he didn't even spend a lot of time praying for the sick that he met because he had already encountered. He'd, he'd already had an encounter with God, separated from everybody else. Yes, Lord. So if, if we also separate ourselves in prayer on a daily basis, before we start anything else, before we touch our phones to start looking mm -hmm. at WhatsApp, Facebook, and then everything just falls on top of us, before we even start flicking on the um, news channels to see mm -hmm. what they are talking about, about Corona and how many cases they are, we will already be empowered to go out in the world and to minister. Amen. 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 Because that's what was happening with Jesus. He would just say, 
be clean and somebody will be clean. Oh, pick up your mat and go. He didn't even need to lay hands on them because he already had that power. So our being separate, separate, our being in separation in prayer is going to give us the power yes, amen, to perform yes. miracles oh my God. that will cause revival in our midst so that we are really indeed a, a, a weapon of revival. Mm -hmm. amen. Oh amen. That when we go out there in this hating world, somebody even before they start, they, they will narrate their stories to us and we'll be able to just say, oh, it is well with you. And people are going to be able to see change in, our, in their lives. Amen. Yes, amen. 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 So I was asking myself, why then are we not performing miracles? Because Mark 16, was it verse 15 to 18? Can somebody just find that one for me before? <clears throat> Mark 16, verse 15 to 18. Mark chapter 16. Verse 15. Verse 15 to 16. The Bible says, and he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mm -hmm. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. Oh, all the way to verse 18, my brother. Verse 17. And these signs will follow those who believe mm -hmm. in the name they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. Mm. Verse eighteen. They will take up serp. They will take up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Amen. Amen. I don't know. I don't know um, if my Bible is different, but in verse 17, it says, and these signs will follow those who believe. Hmm. My Bible doesn't say these signs will follow evangelist hmm. or pastor hmm. or apostle. No. Hmm. It is those that believe in my name, they will cast out demons. Yes, Lord. And they will speak yeah. with new tongues. Mm. They will take up seven serpents and they would, and if they drink anything deadly, it will not by it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. But then our churches are kind of dead because we, we have left that part only to the leaders. Mm. Mm, mm. of the Amen. of the church so we think that it's only for pastor it's only mm -hmm. for apostle it's only for an evangelist mm. but not for everybody who believes mm. Mm. so i want us to pray that even in when as we separate ourselves in prayer mm. that god is going to empower us Mm. Because we've already separated ourselves from the, the world, um, we are cleansed and we are now in the, mm. in the fort. Mm. So we are part of those who believe. But then mm. we find that our churches are, are not growing because we're leaving the evangelism or the, or the casting out of demons. Because most people will not believe God unless they see that God is actually is still alive today. Amen. Amen. That when you pray for somebody who is sick and then they recover, that's when they believe that, yes, there's a God, a God who is alive, the God, a God yeah. that I can follow. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you just preach the gospel, it's like a storytelling to them. Yeah. They, 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 they're not attracted yes. to say, why should I go to church? After all, there's nothing different to when I go to the pub. Mm. 
I still come back the same way that I came. But if we leave it to only a few people, Mm. then we're not helping matters. But in 2022, we've been empowered pastor, evangelist. The pastors have been preaching to us all these years. We've been in church for so long, but we're still not growing. Mm. But we need to desire. That should be our desire. That even in my prayer life, as I'm praying, God, reveal yourself more to me. And also fill me with the Holy Spirit. Now, when I pray for my family, when I pray for myself, when I've got a migraine headache, I don't need to call Pastor Margaret to say, oh my goodness, Mama Pastor, today, my headache. I should be able in my closet, in my prayer time, Hallelujah. to say headache be gone. Yeah. And because I'm so empowered, the headache Hallelujah. will have no space, mm. no choice but to actually go. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want to desire with me that mm. weapons of revival in 2022, we are mm. not going to be the same way that we've Hallelujah. been. Same old, same Hallelujah. old, year Hallelujah. in, year out. That January mm. we pray, and yeah, then come pray. February, oh, we are already fainting. Mm. That coronavirus yeah, comes, and we can't pray for ourselves to say, mm. this pneumonia that's associated with coronavirus, that's let it right. go from my body. This mm. headache that has been troubling me for years, let mm. it go from my body. I want us, to, mm. I want you, mm. my fellow weapons of revival, to desire with me to mm. pray Hallelujah. that in our prayer times, God is going to manifest it himself. Hallelujah. And also, when we come out from our prayer times, we we'll have that power that when my, my sister is saying, oh, my goodness, my leg is hitting me, I should mm. be able to lay my hands on that leg and then find my sister walking. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. When mm. my co- co-workers say, oh, my goodness, this mm. is what is going on in my life, I should be able to say, come, mm. even in a closet. Even Hallelujah. two minutes prayer. Mm. By the time I say amen, they should be able to experience mm. the goodness of God even in their lives. Mm. Amen. So I want us to pray. Mm. Amen. I keep going back to 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 for God to help us separate our ourselves in prayer, but also to say when we come back from our prayer sessions, we'll mm. be empowered with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We'll be empowered with a lot of faith that even as we go, we're going to uh, to to minister to people. We we're not just leaving the ministry, mm. the laying hands. Of mm. on the sick or the casting out of demons only mm. for the pastors and the evangelists and Alleluia. the apostles, but mm. also me as a member of Weapons of Revival Church, Alleluia. I should be able to Alleluia. pray. Alleluia. In Alleluia. before I even come, it should just be a testimony. Oh, somebody mm. asked me for prayer. I prayed, and this is what God has done in our midst. Amen. Alleluia. Let us Alleluia. pray. Desire Alleluia. with me that Alleluia. in 2022, our prayer life, is, our prayer life, and our Christian life is not going to remain the same. Amen. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, of Jesus Christ, we give you the praise. We give you glory. Kara ba 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 ba
And now we give you the bread, we give you more. In the mighty name of God, in the mighty name of Jesus, and now we give you the bread, we give you more. Give you on the mighty God, we are the living, we are the living, we are the living, we are the living, we give you the bread, give you glory. Karamaria Kandra Baba Baba Baba. Father, we give you the bread, we give you the mighty name of Yes, mighty God. Yes, mighty God. We are Baba Baba Baba. You are Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord. Karamaria Kandra Baba Baba Baba. Karamaria Baba Baba Baba. We pray desire I hear you in prayer. Use of you, O God, after prayer to be empowered by the Holy Spirit. I name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Empower me, Holy Spirit. Empower me, Holy Spirit. Empower me, Holy Spirit. Empower me, Holy Spirit. Empower us, 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 Holy Spirit. In the mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Empower us by your spirit. Empower us by your spirit, mighty God. Empower us by your spirit, mighty God. Empower us, mighty God. Empower me, empower my family, empower my children. God, when we pray, and you come to your throne, mighty God, we come out of prayer empowered by the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We give you power, Lord. I desire your power, the Spirit. I desire your power, desire your power, I desire your empowerment, desire your empowerment, desire your empowerment, desire your we give you glory. We give you the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Amen. So when continue to look at the ministry of Jesus, even though he did a lot of good things. Mm. There was opposition, and the opposition even started from the scribes and the Pharisees, the people that were supposed to know the word of God. They are the ones who would be um, who were the first ones to even oppose Jesus. 
and they were the first ones to even start plotting on ways on how to kill him because of the of the mighty things that he was doing. So um, I was looking at the Mark Mark two. He had he had just um, he would somebody who was paralytic, but the way he he healed him, he says, "Son, your sins are forgiven." And then the people, the, the scribes and the Pharisees. Um, if you look at Mark two, um, from verse number five, just to contextualize what, I don't know whether that's a word, what I'm talking about. And then they'll be even in, posi in, in opposition um, to what he was doing to say, well, why does this man speak in mm. a blasphemous way like this? Mm. Who can forgive sins, but God alone? And mm. also, you know, like when, when he was, he had gone to eat with his tax collector um, because his ministry was a minister of love. And then the, even these people who were supposed to be the, the custodians of the word of God were even opposing him. What, mm -hmm. I'm, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that even though we are going to walk in the power that I, I talked about, we might find opposition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. even from your family, mm -hmm. that they even start looking at you and say, e mm -hmm. Janet, who do you want to be like? Mm. 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 it may start even from your family and you're thinking oh you these are the people that are supposed to understand me and these are the people who are supposed to 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 be in my corner mm. but they may be even the ones that are opposing so i just want us to 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 pray as well for god to give us the courage to be different mm. Mm. In the in situations that I'm talking about, when mm. everybody is opposing us, sometimes it might even be opposition in the church. Mm. 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 Hallelujah. That even your fellow Christians, the people that you are supposed to, your fellow weapons of revival, sometimes may not understand mm. your ministry. Mm. Mm. But I want us to pray that God is going to give us the courage. Mm. You know, the courage, um, we've been reading Daniel 1 and 2, I think. So I've put there Daniel um, 2, verse is it 8. Daniel 1, Daniel 1, verse 8. Mm. Where Daniel did not conform to whatever everybody else was doing. Yeah. He had the courage mm. to be different. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Mm. And we see how God used him in a mighty way, um, even in, in, um, with the king Nebuchadnezzar. Mm. Um, we can quickly just go to Daniel 1. Verse number 8. It says, Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defy himself with a portion of the king's delicacies, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the chief of the eunuchs that he might not defy himself. So everybody else was, you know, in, in this context, you know, the king's delicacies, it was nice food, it was um, nice clothes, everything was nice, but because he knew what his purpose in this world was. Yes, Lord. So he was able to separate himself. Thank you, Jesus. So this is our year of separation, even in areas that it seems to be nice at the time, but when we are <laughs> called to be separate and be different, I, 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 I just want us to, to, to have that courage that Daniel had to say, even though this looks nice, but I'm going to be different because he knows what his um, purpose or his calling for his life is all about. Wow. Hallelujah. We're just jumping into things. And as we go along, I'm sure God is going to continue revealing more things. Amen. Because we're limited with time. Amen. So I just want us to, 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 to pray that God will, have the, God will give us the courage mm. to be different. Yes. To hold on to our beliefs. Mm. 
Mm. Even in, in situations or areas that it may be difficult for us to hold on to mm. who we are. Mm. That we will have the courage enough to say, as for me, Janet, I'm going to be different. I'm going to follow God, even if it's not the norm. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wherever God has called us to, to stand out as to be separate and unique. Mm. Yes. I mm. just want us to yes. pray that God is going to give us the courage. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we give you the praise. We give you glory. Mighty God, mighty God, give us the courage to be different. The courage, mighty God, give us the courage. Give us the courage. We will give us the courage, mighty God. Courage, courage, courage to be different. Courage to be different, mighty God. Courage, Courage, mighty God. Courage, mighty God. Courage to do your way. In Jesus is mighty. Jesus is mighty. Jesus is mighty. In Jesus is mighty name. Jesus is mighty name. Jesus is mighty name. Praise God. When, when we look, continue looking at the life of Jesus, we know how his story ended. Amen. Mm. Um, that even Michael, as a, Bible, a Sunday school um, scholar, he will know how Jesus' um, ministry ended. Because I was looking at us being like Jesus and to look at Jesus as the example. But I, I just want us to look, and um, that's my last prayer uh, point. John 16, verse 33. I don't know why I went there, but anyway, we we'll just Amen. 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 John 16, verse number 33. 33. John chapter 16, verse 33, the Bible says. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be a good cheer. I have overcome the world. Amen. 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 Um, so it, it is quite possible that we spend 21 days in prayer and fasting, and then when we finish, something might happen to us. 
Amen. Um, mm. It's quite possible that um, our faith may be tested in one area or the other, mm. because this has just, we are in the world, not of the world, but also Jesus has assured that, uh, that we're going to face tribulation, amen. amen. There will be temptations, there will be tribulation. Hmm. But then it says, be of good cheer. Yes. Hallelujah. Because he has overcome the world. Amen. Hmm. Amen. 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 And we continue to, if we continue to separate ourselves in prayer and in reading the word, then in him we'll have peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Even though we're going to encounter every manner of tribulation, we we'll still have a life which is peaceful because mm. we know who, who, who we believe. Amen. Amen. But I wanted us to, to pray that God is going to give us this stamina, mm. the, the muscle, the, the um, brother Dev will understand what I'm talking about because he goes to the gym. You know, that endurance that we need to have so that in February, when situations are starting to come on our way, we are not going to lose the momentum that was built up in January. Hello. Come May, June, July, when all the situations of this world come on our lives, we're not going to lose that momentum that we've started with the year. Hello. But that we're going Amen. to carry on with this same momentum, with this same um, vigor, that when we have a Zoom meeting, there's at least 15 of us on the Zoom meeting all the way until December. That by okay. December, it's not going to be four or six people that when we say, oh, let us meet at such such a time to pray. That is only a few people, pastor and his wife, um, evangelist Nkole and his wife, and sometimes Sister Janet, and sometimes Brother Dave, sometimes Sister Gertrude, you know, but that is going to be the same the same way, sorry, at least these people, I know I see them all the time. Not that I'm singling out. I haven't seen anybody else that I know. Um, Amen. 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 I'm not picking a new story, but what <laughs> I'm doing is just to encourage us that the momentum that we've started January with, we keep it all the way until the, the, the first of December when we meet again for cross overnight. So I just want us to pray that even as we are separating ourselves in prayer, that as we as we are separate in prayer, that God is going to give us the muscle. Endurance. to carry on the stamina, mm -hmm. the endurance. Mm -hmm. That's going to take us all the way again to the 31st of December. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. I pray for the strength. I pray for the strength. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the glory, God. Give me strength. Give me strength, Jehovah God. Let strong hands to endure and to overcome and to subdue the mighty 
mighty name of Jesus. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the honor. Father, strength, strength, might come. Courage to carry on. Courage to conclude the yet Strength to move on. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. the Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah. Father, we give you praise. Strengthen us, O God. Strengthen us, O God. Finish this year strong. Thank you for every month. Thank you for the energy. Thank you, mighty God, for your mercy. Thank you, Jehovah God. We give you the praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Mm. Over hallelujah, to you, Evangelist. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Wow, 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 wow. 